Hey guys, in this video, we're going to review the top 3 trend filter indicators that can be used to filter out bad or fake signals when trading. Filtering out fake signals is crucial to the long-term success of any trading strategy. And that's where trend filter indicators come into play. They help confirm the overall direction of a trend and therefore eliminate noise in the market, ultimately increasing the number of profitable trades. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So in a third place, we have a trend filter indicator called Donkey and Trend. Click on Indicators, then type here. Donkey and Trend. And select this one by Lonesome the O, it's Lonesome the Blue. Yeah. Also, I'm going to be using the 1 hour time frame for this showcase, just so you know. Then we're going to double click on the indicator so we can change some settings. On the inputs tab, change the donkey and channel period to 24. Then on this style tab, uncheck these two options right here and then click OK. Now, going through this indicator, you'll notice that it's a really good indicator that can be used as a trend filter. But how does it work? Well, when it's colored green and the price is trading above it, that is considered a bullish trend and we should be looking to take only long entries. Conversely, when it's colored red and the price is trading below it, that is considered a bearish trend and we should be looking to take only short trades. Now, to show you an example of how we can use this indicator to trade, let's add a buy sell indicator called Parabolic SAR. Remember, the strategies we're going to showcase in this video are not meant to be traded blindly. They're just for educational purposes. So you can have an idea of how these trend indicators work. Let's double click on the Parabolic SAR indicator to access the settings panel on the style tab, uncheck this SAR option and this trade state filling option and then click OK. The Parabolic SAR indicator is a super famous buy sell indicator and it's going to be used as our entry signal. It's probably one of the easiest indicators to use on the planet. When it says buy, we buy. When it says sell, we sell. Now, how are we going to combine these two indicators to create a profitable trading system? Well, I'll tell you. Look this chart. To take a long trade, here are the conditions. First, the donkey and trend should be colored green, and the price should be trading above it. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a buy signal. This indicates that the market is shifting from a short-term bearish trend to a short-term bullish trend. We're going to enter a long trade here, set our stop loss below the most recent swing low, which is the lowest price point reached by the last 5 to 10 candles. For the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk we let this trade run and it hits take profit. For short trades, we're just going to reverse all the conditions. So first, the donkey on trend should be colored red and the market should be trading below it. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a sell signal. This indicates that the market is shifting from a short-term bullish trend to a short-term bearish trend OK. We're going to enter a short trade here. Our stop loss is going to go above the most recent swing high which is the highest price point reached by the last 5 to 10 candles. For the tech profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk. We let this trade run and it hits tech profit. This is a really good trend filter indicator and I definitely recommend it. Go ahead and take a look at it and see how you can use it alongside your strategy. Now, in the second place, we have a trend filter indicator called IFMA system. This indicator is so powerful and can help you avoid a lot of losses when trading live. To add the second indicator, click here and type in IFMA system. Select this one by Axis Trading. Now, the IFMA system combines these 10 different indicators and uses that data to identify bullish and bearish trends in the market. When each of these 10 lines on the IFMA system is colored bright green, that would mean that all these 10 indicators are aligned to a bullish trend. 
Conversely, when each of the 10 lines are colored bright red, that would mean that all these 10 indicators are aligned to a bearish trend. Now here you'll notice that the indicator also changes the bar colors. We don't need this, so let's just disable that option in the settings of the indicator. Now, to take a long trade, these are the conditions. First, the parabolic SAR indicator should print a buy signal. Second, at the time the buy signal is printed, all the 10 lines of the IFMA system should be colored bright green. All these lines should be colored bright green. If any of the lines is not bright green, that setup becomes invalid. We're going to enter a long trade here, stop loss below the most previous recent swing low. For the take profit. We're going to set it at 2 times the risk we let the trade run and take profit. For short trades, we're going to reverse all the conditions. First, the parabolic star indicator should print a sales signal. Second, at the time the sales signal is printed, all the 10 lines of the IFMA system should be colored bright red. If any of the lines is not bright red, that setup becomes invalid. We're going to enter a short trade here, stop loss above the most recent swing high. And for the take profit, we're going to set it at 2 times the risk we let the trade run and take profit. Last but not least, in the first place, we have a trend filter indicator called market bias, this one by Professor X. Double click on the indicator to access the settings panel. On the inputs tab, change the period to 60 and smoothing to 30. Then on the style tab, uncheck this first option and then click. The market bias indicator tries to determine the overall trend of the market using smooth high kanachi candles. Just like the first indicator, this indicator uses color to filter out bullish and bearish trends. When it's colored bright and dark green, that is a bullish trend. And when it's colored bright and dark red, that is a bearish trend. Now, how do we trade with this indicator? Well, to take a long trade, these are the conditions. First, the market bias trend ribbon, this guy right here should be colored green, and the market should be trading above it. This indicates a bullish trend. Second, the market should pull back and touch the market bias trend ribbon without breaking and closing below it. If it breaks and closes below the ribbon like it did right here, we'll have to skip that setup. Next, at the time the price touches the market bias indicator, the trend ribbon should be colored dark green to further validate that pullback. If it's still colored bright green by the time the price touches it, we'll have to skip that setup. After the pullback, we want the very next signal on the parabolic SAR indicator to be a buy signal. We're going to enter a long trade here, set our stop loss below the most recent swing low for the take profit. We're going to set it at 2 times the risk we let the trade run, and as you can see, it decided to hit take profit for short trades. We're going to reverse all the conditions. So first, the market bias trend ribbon. This guy right here should be colored red and the market should be trading below it. This indicates a bearish trend. Second, the market should pull back and touch the market bias trend ribbon without breaking and closing above the ribbon. If it breaks and closes above the ribbon like it did right here, we'll have to skip that setup next. At the time the price touches the market bias indicator, the trend ribbon should be colored dark red to further validate that pullback. If it's still colored bright red by the time the price touches it, you simply skip that setup after the pullback, we want the very next signal on the parabolic SAR indicator to be a sell signal. We're going to enter a short trade here. Stop loss above the most recent swing high for the take profit OK. We're going to set it at 2 times the risk we let the trade run and full TP. Which one of these three indicators do you guys think has the most potential? Is it the in the first place, the one in the second place, or the one in the third place? Let us know in the comments section below. Hope you found some value. That's been it for this video. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.